a kind of a u unique celebration, just like kind of uh, ca ca calm, uh, and maybe a couple different things going on there. What, what went through your mind, I guess, as soon as, soon as that goal went into the net? Uh, I didn't even see the ball hitting the net, so I was like very confused because I like <laughs> rolled over. And then I just like saw the fans cheering, so I was like, oh, okay, I think that's went in. So, and then just I don't know what I did, just let emotions run. You know, it's always nice to to score. Uh, it's not my specialty, I would say, but especially at home, I never had that feeling, and just emotions took over, and like I just felt like yeah, I show off something. I don't know, and that's what what came out of it. So yeah, guys always make fun of my biceps being bigger than my quads, so. Uh, I felt like maybe I showed that off, but yeah, it was just a joke, kind of, yeah. Yeah, and then you kind of touched on the other, you want to switch mics? Okay. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention, which is playing at home and just kind of like the energy that brought, I mean, you guys have gotten back-to-back -back wins at home, <laughs> scoring goals, uh, a lot of goals at home. What's, what is it about this environment that you guys are kind of feeding off right now? Um, I feel like, like we felt it last year, and I, I think we just want to have that feeling back kind of of, Getting the crowd involved and just bringing the game to the opponent and don't like really sit back. Uh, it was a tough game today because I thought San Jose did a really good job of just moving the ball, so it was like very difficult to like get our pressing situations right and all that stuff. But uh, I feel like we managed the game well. Finally, I think that's like we have to to take advantage of that a little bit more and just like try to manage games a little bit better. Let them maybe have the ball for a little bit better. Try and rest a little bit more and don't go all out, uh, all out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's really about just bringing bringing the crowd back, bring bring the fans in the stadium, get a get a sold out again, just have that energy that anybody who comes in here just feels yeah unwelcome. You know, like it's, it should be hard for anybody to come here and just get some points. And I feel like we haven't made it hard enough on a couple of teams who came here uh, end of last season and beginning of this season. So uh, just hope to get back to that standard that we have for ourselves to just wherever. Or whoever is coming here, uh, yeah, be ready for for five for ninety minutes. Hey, Jasper, congratulations! Thank it's you. just an experience. It's not only you. I was calling the game and it say go, and I say hey, it's go. Yeah, yes, it's go, go. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> was very impressed. Everybody say yes, it's go. So, and it was a very very good shot. So, uh, what happened in your mind when you got ball? So just kick on the ball. Um, yeah, it's um I played it to Danny. So we I like got the ball, read the QL, played it out to Danny and just like continue my run and he had the option to go left or right and he chose me. I thought the ball was a little wide, so I like had to curve my run again. And like when I look up it's I'm right footed. So my initial thought was curling it around the goalkeeper, like front post. But uh I felt like he like he made it hard on me to like take that option so my Second option was always, and I talk to to Tomas, our second goalie, all the time because we do a lot of shots, and and he's like the like most annoying thing for a goalie is if you hit it really hard right next to like anywhere around his head area because most of the guys like when they come out if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation they have like a reaction save on it or something so I just don't want to give him that opportunity and just try to hit it as hard as I could like right next to his head somewhere and uh, yeah fell over. Because I just try to hit it as hard as I can, and yeah, I, I broke a camera too, I think. But <laughs> I hope I don't get fined for that. Congratulations but, yeah. again! In the last huh? One. We're here for we're here for Pablo, but uh, what about you guys? Is, uh, the expectation for the next game in Wednesday, the Open Cup? Oh, like <laughs> make it better than last year for sure. Uh, I feel like we have we have a lot of a lot of good players, a lot of depth in the team, and I think like maybe rotation's gonna come in and maybe give other guys a chance as well, like we did last year. But um, the way we practiced over the last two, three weeks was was outstanding. I feel like you couldn't really tell tell the difference between the guys who are starting and the guys who are coming in. Uh, I mean, you've seen it today with with Danny uh, coming in after like 20 minutes and Oviedo, he's ready anytime. So it's always good to, to have the guys out on the pitch and I feel like they, they will take a chance. They want to prove something as well. So uh, whoever whoever's playing that Wednesday match is, is going to be 100% all in. Uh, I mean, it, it's a cup, you know, it's not, not a friendly game where you, where you try and just kick around or something like it's a cup. You want to you go far, you want to win something this year. So uh, 
I feel like we didn't manage to get it last year, so uh, this year we have to we have to step up our game a little bit better. I feel like a little bit more, and uh, yeah, really bring the game to them and and go for go for the win. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, congrats on the goal, great goal, and uh, we've seen your game improving a lot on the past um, couple of games, especially with the formation that we've been doing. Um, besides the incredible goal that you had today, I wanted to ask you the incredible connection that you're having with Pablo Reyes. How is that? How do you guys go in training? How do you guys talk about it? And obviously because of the language barrier in there. Um, I feel like me, Pablo, and, and Marcelo have like a really unique bond uh, coming from last year into this year as well. Uh, we do a lot together. So uh, it's just, I really take pride in, in playing next to not only those two guys, but like especially the other, other guys as well. And uh, if you see the quality we have out on the pitch, I just feel like I have to, to like be on my top level to get out the best on of them as well. You see, Savarino, uh, you see Andres out there, who's who's warming up, who's getting more and more confident. Uh, he scored his first goal as well. Uh, I was just like so happy for those guys. And as long as I can do my job and, and get the best out of them, and they don't have to worry about defending that much, uh, I'm 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 all for it. Uh, with Pablo next to me, I just feel feel really confident because we're like. We are kind of similar in, in, in the way we go about games. It's like uh, why or die kind of thing, you know, like leave it all on the pitch. Uh, sometimes maybe being a little bit too aggressive, a little bit dirty as well, you know, make it hard on the enemies. But I feel like that's that's what a game needs sometimes, you know, as well. Uh, didn't, didn't agree on the yellow card today, but it is what it is, you know. But uh, I feel like with us in the midfield, like we rotate so much, we, we try to cover so much ground. I feel like it's just a... a a good thing going and uh, yeah the connections get better over time like I feel like we have a good group together now uh, we get more and more in a routine kind of thing as well because we don't have that much rotation like we did in the first couple of games sometimes but um, yeah I just hope to to keep building on that hope to keep keep winning more and more games and, and get the thing rolling Yes, thank you for your time today, and um, congrats on the goal as well. Um, the question that I have for you is just kind of about uh, like the contrast of, of the beginning of the season and, and now where you guys are at. Um, obviously, the beginning of the season was very difficult for you guys. You mentioned um, a couple of weeks ago, I think, that you, you learned a lot from kind of those difficult days and those difficult times. Can you kind of just talk about um, like how the team is feeling now in the locker room and, and how the team environment is, uh, despite the loss last week against Dallas, I thought the team played pretty well. Mm -hmm. Like, how is the, the team feeling right now after a, a good result tonight? Um, yeah, like, I feel like you always have to see it in perspective, kind of. Like, uh, if, if you look at the games we had at the beginning of the season against, let's say, uh, Columbus or even St. Louis, I feel like we kind of let ourselves down a little bit. And if you look at the result last week against Dallas, it's also a loss. But like you said, we felt quite confident as you can say, um, about a performance. Uh, we just, yeah, really learned in a kind of way that if we play the way we play, if we trust the system that we're playing, the formation, and if, and if we trust like in each other and the abilities and like all the things that, that make our guys special the way they are, um, we are pretty pretty decent team in this league. We're pretty pretty hard to play against and pretty pretty good to like going offensively as well and, and score some goals. So um, just kind of the focus for us really lies on remembering that and just like don't let that confidence slip away again like it did maybe in, in the first couple of games. I don't know if that was 100% the case, but I feel like right now there's more of like a, more of like a automatism kind of like people take people on one v one. Uh, you go in for tackles where you would normally hold back. Uh, you see, you see guys just just doing their thing, what they're good at. You know, just letting all that that stuff going. And uh, yeah, I just feel like from from players to coaching staff, it just was like a really good job over the last month. I would say to to really commit to that process, to dig ourselves out of that hole. I don't think we've done it yet. I still feel like there's a lot of games to be played. You can't really tell if if, if we made it over the top right now, you know, but uh, I feel like we're on a really good way and just hope to keep that thing going. Thank you. Thank you. Just 
couple more questions for Jasper. Or are you guys good? Okay, we're good. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Thank you.